In this tutorial I will show you how to create a very simple three-dimensional spring. Start by removing this cube. To do this first press X on your keyboard and then left click on delete. At the top of the screen look for the button that says blender render and left click on it. Then left click cycles render. Look for the lamp, this is a black dot with a few rings around it and right click on it. Then drag this panel over and left click on the lamp data button. Leave the setting at point in the box it says size, left click and type 2 and hit return on your keyboard. Then left click use nodes in the box it says strength 100 left click and type in 2000 and hit return. Now hold down shift followed by A next to mesh left click on circle. Rotate the circle on its X axis by first typing R then X then 9 0 and this will rotate the circle 90 degrees. Now press 1 on your numbers pad followed by 5 on your numbers pad to go into front orthographic view. We're going to resize this circle so to do this press S followed by point 1 then left click then roll your middle mouse to zoom in a bit so you can see your circle. Now I'm going to move this circle along this X axis, this red line. If you keep an eye at the bottom of this screen you'll see some figures come up. With your pointer over the red arrow, hold down your left mouse button just drag this circle over until the bottom left hand side of the screen says something like minus 1, minus 99. It doesn't have to be accurate. So that's about minus 1. Now hold down shift followed by A. Next to mesh for the box it says single vert then next to that left click on add single vert now this will take you into edit mode so you want to come back out of edit mode by pressing tab and that will take you into object mode right click on the circle and hold down shift with your pointer right in the middle of the screen right click to accept to uh, select the single vertice that you put in. Then hold down control followed by J to join both of them together and this will also bring your um, axis point to the middle. Roll your middle mouse a bit to zoom out and then look for the button to the right of the screen which has got a little wrench in it. This is your modifiers button left click on it then left click add modifier then left click screw in the box it says screw 0, 0.000 left click and type 0 0.5 and hit return then in the box it says iterations left click and type in 6 and hit return. Now these numbers you can change if you want but for this uh, video I'm going to leave this set at that. And the only other thing to change where it says step 16 left click and type 50, 50 and again hit return. Once you've done that left click on apply. Okay, the well, first thing you'll notice that your um, spring or coil is hollow at the end. So we'll sort this problem out in a minute. And the first thing we're going to do is press 7 on your numbers pad and then press tab to go into edit mode, then A to deselect everything. Now press C to bring up a circular select 
all your middle mouse if you want to make it a bit bigger just place it over the middle and then left click then right click to accept and what this will do ah I've made a slight mistake here actually so I'm going to press 7 again what we should have done is gone into wireframe view so just press Z on your keyboard to go into wireframe view and press C with your circular select over the middle left click and then right click now you'll find that what's happened is that single vertice that you put in has been duplicated up the middle and we don't need this so with these selected just press X and left click on vertices OK if you hold down control followed by 3 on your numbers pad that will take you into left handle for graphic view and roll your middle mouse to zoom in and if you hold down shift followed by your middle mouse button you should better drag your view down now press B on your keyboard and do a box select on the top very last um, end of the spring. First of all press F and that will actually fill the end up. And we want to sort of bring this spring down so that it's level. Um, now if you come to the bottom of the screen you see a little box with a highlighted square and to the right of it there's a little box with a kind of circle in it and this is your proportional editing mode button left click on this and then left click on connect it says connected actually now with your pointer over the blue arrow if you hold down your left mouse button you can move this proportionately as you can see it changes if you roll your middle mouse in and out the size of your circle will change so just drag this down So you get a reasonably straight edge using your grid squares. Once you're happy, left click. Now if you want to further change or change this even more, again with your pointer over the blue arrow, roll your middle mouse so that you zoom out and then just tidy up the end. And keep doing this until you're happy with what you've got. Okay looks reasonably good and press A to deselect everything now if you hold down shift in your middle mouse button you can drag this spring or whatever it is all the way up and again press B do a box select around this edge or this end of the spring fill the end in with by pressing F on your keyboard and then roll your uh, middle mouse wheel to uh, get a better view. Then with your pointer over the blue arrow drag your uh, selected vertices up and then just roll your mouse until you get a sort of a reasonable shape. Okay and again like before again with your pointer over the blue arrow seems to have selected the green arrow ok well, there you go just tidy up the end until your bottom of your spring sort of in line with this green Y axis line ok press tab on your keyboard to go back into object mode and press Z to go into solid view to the left of the screen look for the button that says smooth and just left click on it hold down shift followed by A and next to mesh left click on plane roll your mouse and just check that this plane is below the straight edge of your spring and then resize it by pressing S followed by 50, 5, 0 and hit return 
Press 0 on your numbers pad to go into camera view. Then roll your middle mouse to increase the view if you want. Press N to bring up this display. Look for the words lock camera to view in the box to the left of this, left click. Close this down again by pressing N. And if you hold down shift followed by your middle mouse button you can move your view about. You can also, if you hold your middle mouse button, you can also angle your view. So come, just change your view to you get a, I don't know, your angle in your view to you get a sort of happy view on this. And also, if you roll your middle mouse button, you can zoom in. And if you hold down Control, followed by your middle mouse button, to move your mouse, you can get a more sort of smoother zoom. I think I'll. That'll do. OK. Hold down shift followed by Z and that'll take you into rendered view. To the right of the screen, look for the uh, button with an orange disc in it. This is your materials button. And left click on it. And left click new. Leave this setting at diffuse BSDF. But to the right of this white colour box, left click on the little grey dot then left click checker texture in the box it says scale 5 left click and type 30 three zero, and hit return press Z and Z again on your keyboard just to make sure that you're selecting this um, spring and right click on the spring and hold down control followed by Z to go into rendered view and again left click on new in the box it says diffuse BSDF left click look for the box or the uh, button that says glossy BSDF left click on it in the box next to roughness where it says 0 0.000 left click and type in point two five and hit return and there you have it you've made your first spring hopefully very simple nothing complicated and the only thing you need to do now is just uh, make a picture of it so again come to the right of the screen and look for the little button with a camera in it this is your render button left click on this drag this panel down don't worry about saving anything. Leave the setting at PNG. But look for the box that says sampling and left click on the little arrow to the left of this. And in the box that says render 10, left click and type in 500, 500. Hit return. Drag the slider up and left click on the button that says render and your image should start rendering. I'll come back to this once it's finished rendering. Once your image is finished rendering simply come to the bottom left of the screen, look for the button that says image, left click on it, then left click save as image. Now you can left click on these folders and left click this to go back um, and decide where you want to save things as per normal I'm going to save on desktop so I'm going to left click here and then where it says untitled PNG just left click and give it a title so we'll call it blender spring you can call it what you want and then left click save as image might have to do this twice one two and hopefully you should have an image of a very simple spring. Thank you for watching. Cheers.